Okay. Now let's go, uh... Try a cow? We can, we can show our gear, I suppose, yeah. We'll show our final gear and final build for all who want to drop off at this point. I'm gonna go do some cows and have some fun, then we'll do some uber prep, but... Here is our final stats. Here is our final skills. Max, 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 rest there. One, 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 three. Nothing there. And our final gear, plus two uh, maiden jabs, pretty simple. Shaco, basic, easy. Plus one Amazon skills, Ancient's Pledge. We have these boots right now just because they have the 28 light res, but I'll go ahead and swap over to those tri res 20 fast run rock 10 FHR boots we found. I should just go put those puppies on. Here's our boots. Casual. One ring. Cold res, fire res. Dual deaths. And then a coral ring we just crafted. Charms or life, fast run walk, resistances. Big mana there. I dropped the Shaco right here. Like right where I'm standing. I think that was it. Cannot be frozen is on Death Sash. What a strange we'll take the scroll, go home. And we can go try out the cows and have a little fun with the character. Oh my god, Stony. Have a little fun. Ooh, we have two shrines at our uh, Cold Plains as well. That can be really useful. My weapon's my worst piece of gear by far. This is probably one of the most stacked guided playthroughs I've ever had. I mean, try res, hit recovery, faster run walk boots, Shaco. Dual deaths? I mean, at some point you go, come on. That's, that's a little silly, right? <laughs> at some point. Oh yeah, I farmed all this. The deaths was the most reasonable piece of everything we found because I went and killed the Cow King the number of times it takes to kill the Cow King. It's not like I just, you know, found it. I did find Death's Sash that way, but then I actually found a second Death Sash at him anyways, so. Yeah. That one was an uh, intentional. Thank you, Sun Minded. D4 is so bad, I can't even watch you play D2. Hmm. I'm not sure I understand that logic, but okay. I did up the deaths once, yes. You can kill the king more than once now, so he's great for farming. All right, let's check out how the cows do. Pretty good. Again, is it lightning fury levels? No. It's not bad. Leveling or farming? Yeah, why not both? I 
Why not both? I'm, I'm just gonna level up in here really fast. I just wanted to see it. We'll have to go down and do some uber uh, prep stuff anyway, so. Should just be players one, I believe. Maybe that was a higher player account. Maybe once or twice, I saw it. The more stuff you kill, rune drops are just that. It's just a, a drop, and you're just affecting it by killing more things. Plain and simple. Thank you, Darth. Much better. So oh, runes, gems, charms, all sorts of things can be found here. Feel free to farm that as much or as little as you want, of course. Let's repair. Let's swap. Kill Radiment? We can kill Raddy. We'll go ahead and go players eight and begin our journey into the depths with Soul Rune. I guess I also need a Co Rune, so maybe I should farm it on players one. You really like that emote? Yeah, it's a cute one. So we made a Llama RPG logo. By the way, hello everyone. This is the Uber's prep portion. Here we go farm a bunch of keys. And get a couple levels. I mean, it's possible to do without Harmony. So maybe I should go for the non-Harmony cheese again. Especially because I have the Hone Sundan. It's locked. Kinda, yeah, I think we should go for the non-cheese. What are my drop chances though for players eight versus players one? of keys from Countess. Do players three? And that would be a potential. 14 verse nine. Yeah, but the keys 
The, the, I can kill e easily. The Countess. The issue is just the runes. So I get way more runes on players one. I do kind of like the idea of maybe getting like a Lem rune or something, you know? Iothal, Iothal! It's really a tough decision. Oh my god, we've run out of space for our rejuves. Hmm. Yeah, we could do Hearth or Bulwark, but I don't have a belt I really care to put on. Plus, I get 15 all res, 30 I yet. I mean, it's just like. Bulwark we could do. And that could be like a potential. Yeah, you can upgrade sets now in D2R. It's a good charm. 4% magic find. Eh, it's okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Bulwark's not going to beat Shaco. That's the thing. Nothing is going to beat Shaco. The only time I'll take Shaco off is probably for a triple Ort Helm from Mephisto. Ground just doesn't quite beat Ort 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 because the roll is too wide of a range. I would need, like, a perfect ground to beat Ort Ort Ort, in my opinion. Kira's, maybe? Sure, let's just find Kira's. <laughs> I mean, we do murder Mephisto really quickly, and we have a really good Mephisto map, so I don't hate the idea of running down to Mephisto. And like doing 10 or 15 Mephisto runs, just seeing if we can find something lucky, like, I don't know, a Shaco or something. I don't hate the idea. Yeah, we, we murder Mephisto. I'm just gonna go down to players one again, actually, and just kinda kill things randomly on the way. Yeah, T-God's also nice. Monarch shield. Spirit time! Let's go, spirit! Ow! Oh. Three open sockets. What up, Bender? How you doing? Larzik it, so he gives me the fourth socket. That's how it works. Let's play through be on YouTube. Uh huh. Dun, dun, dun.
I would do Countess on P1 just to get um for duress so you're not if you're not going harmony. I mean I have Hone Sundan. Now duress would be great. But what's Umrun's drop chance? One in a hundred and something? Which is still, I mean, I'm gonna do 50 runs, so, you know. though. 17 life small charm. I like that. Oh, we just did one, Von Wolf. It was pretty fun. Where's Shaco? On my head. One in 195. Worse than I thought. Naj's circlet. Yeah, the bow is on guided playthrough, should be on YouTube. Google Mr. Lamez C. Boazon guided playthrough. You should get it. This map's a little bit long. That's the only thing I don't like. it exactly. Yeah, it actually was really nice. Like the multi-shot build was fantastic. It worked out super well. I had a blast with it. Oh my god, no runes. Why am I even on players one if you're not dropping me runes? Did the hell portion of the Rainbow Druid make it to YouTube? I think so, but if it didn't, feel free to let me know. You can just go and... Uh, yes. One month ago. Yeah, I just typed in Mr. Lime SC, Rainbow Druid Hell, and it was the first thing that came up for me. It's the summoner. The next MVS is still $125 for a bite of yellow onion, $75 for red. No, red onions are off the table. Red onion bites were so harsh. It was horrible. The price for a red onion is ridiculous. Purple and the purple and red are the same. That's they're the same thing. I'm pretty sure. There's no price set for those. Doesn't mean it's free. It 
White was bad enough. I agree, Paladine. Random mob dropped it for us. I have doll, I have doll. You're level 75, almost 76. And a white monarch. That spirit is taunting me, man. That spirit is taunting me. I need to empty my stashes out. Mm, all right. F tier L Ral Ith Ort Ort Shale. Ord, 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 shale, perfect. Shale. I probably don't care about this actually for Endariel. That's there. I don't actually care about Juanans. Tal, Thal, Am, Lum, Dull. Don't care about those. Actually, another Nefrin is probably a good idea. Shale, shale, hell on hone. Yeah. That's why I want all the shale runes. Soul, soul. Um, am, jewel, keep the boots, keep that, 17 strength, I'm telling you, it taunts me. Probably don't need that many more rals. Ort am do do thal. And. Too many thals. Okay. That's probably fine for now. I can't carry anymore. I don't know, maybe I do want Venom Ward for Andariel. Just so we can stand in on her for like one extra second. We'll hold it for now. Is six is phase blade or crystal sword? Crystal sword. You don't need to. I mean, you're going to have grief in a phase blade anyways, so you can have it in a grief, but it doesn't matter because I say crystal sword because then you can move it to other characters. Mavina's with ice boson is actually pretty solid. You'll be like, wow, this this does really well. <laughs> oh, what was the second question? Uh, have you ever watched Llamas with Hats on YouTube? Mm, doesn't sound crazy familiar. Doesn't sound crazy familiar.
This character really just like stacked up hard. I mean, even like full rejuves are stacked. It's crazy. Maybe. Uh, what are Lemrune's drop chances? One in. That's got to be like one in a hundred, one in ninety, one in a hundred. Maybe I just say forget about it. But I would love treachery, especially if I'm going to spear here. That'd be really nice. We got some absolute garbage from our forges on this character. That really hurt. Map is slowing me down. I know, I should probably reset. The problem is I have a great Mephisto. I've got a bunch of other great things, so it's like one in 98.8 for Lem. It's not a great map, but it's actually pretty hard to roll such a great map. Like, I had an amazing map that last time I did key farming. Hey, derp. But maybe, maybe it is worth resetting the map. Do a few Mephisto runs first and then reset. Could try that out. <laughs> when season five might be out. End of September. There's another Lum rune. September twenty eighth or twenty first, probably, whatever around there. The Thursdays. Yeah, twenty one or twenty eight. Yeah, the throw bar map was like the best map ever. All right, let's try players three. Arcane. Place to farm a Venus set. Uh, just drops keys like candy, this guy. This guy drops keys like candy. Keys, uh, T zero, H one, D zero. Ah, oh, man. While we know which way the arcane is, we should definitely get these keys before we reset. Am I just using... I actually haven't watched yet. 
Am I just using Impale on Mephisto, or am I impaling multiple of the Ubers? Because I do feel like I could just charge strike the other ones. Yeah, let's go player seven. Harmony Cheese, Mephisto, Impale, the others. But he didn't find Harmony on his last run, so that's what I'm wondering he did. Because I kind of want to be able to, I want to do this without Harmony again. I think that's kind of a fun, like, challenge. Happy what up, Roger? September. Like, anybody can kill the Ubers with Harmony. Thank you for nine months, happy baby. It is September, that's right. Subscriptions are 25% off right now. I think it's 25%. Maybe even more for a higher tiered sub as well? Oh no, there's a whole thing going on. Necro struggles? How does Necro struggle? Necro doesn't even have to use Harmony. He just uses his own revives. How do you stop healing? Ah, oh, they're poison immune. Well, for Mephisto, you don't stop healing. Uh, you have to. Ah, uh, shoot. Hello. Mm, you get a mercenary with malice? And hope he doesn't get popped in the group of all your summons? Lilith and... You could also use Ghoul Lords. Revive a bunch of Ghoul Lords as well. That'd probably work out well. Come on. I say you get your mercenary, you put a malice on him, you get a bunch of ghoul lords and a bunch of erdars, and you jump Mephisto, and you're good to go. What was your question, Draco? I think that should work. How'd you do it? Did you use meteor charges? I mean, that also seems like it would work, then you just have for certain meteor and you're good. Hardcore zero to Ubers win, maybe one day. Brutal, you know? Welcome to my shop. Low speed. I 
Kano also did Javazon. Hardcore Ubers, that was the recent one. He almost died like 50 times though. Ooh, eight fire res. Yes, please. Uh, seven to life can go. It is an honor to serve you. What do sources do Uber with? Um, fire. Firewall plus harmony. And again, harmony kind of cheeses everything. Yeah, then lightning after that. That's why I'm trying to do these without <laughs> harmony, just to like see how it how it plays without that A little bit extra challenge. I have a bit of fun. Hello. <laughs> it was nice, Emis. Oh my gosh, so unlucky. Where can I take you? Good day. Ooh. I would have liked those on my throw barb. Those are super nice. No, assassin kicks can miss now. They they uh, fixed that. I believe they did at least. Correct me if I'm wrong. Usually how it goes, Gunza. They did fix it. Okay. Good day. Good to see you. Nice way to accumulate a little bit of gold as well. Taking a million gold into Ubers is never a horrible idea. Extra fast and infector. Yep, he'll he'll do it. He'll do it to you. Twenty first or twenty eighth, one of those two days. That's what you should probably plan for. You know, I actually kind of like that armor, and uh, I should just get a four open socket instead if I'm going to do that. So you just ort rune the heck out of that for my lightning resist. <laughs> I 
No, I don't have any terror keys yet, but I may reset my map. Because it's kind of long, so I'm gonna get the arcane ones first. Where can I take you? I also probably need to do Mephisto first. I I mean my Mephisto map is pretty dang good. Yes. Okay, nice pounding. What about for the minis? What was Kano's minis kill? Was that also impaling? Or was that charge strike? Like, I'm just wondering why... Jesus. Gear plugin works now? Okay, I just gotta run it and do all the stuff. Cast and frame so bad. Hmm. I'm just wondering, like, why are we using Impale on Diablo instead of Charge Strike? Is it purely because... I've already specked out of charge strike by then. <laughs> Just impale slow, good for survival. Yeah. But then you lose a shield, so you're dropping, you know, 50 all res almost. What can I do for you? So how good is it really for survival? You need 11 points into it? Yes. That's it? Where am I putting all the rest of my points? Players 8 Summoner as well. What's going on? Plus 2 Amazon skills? Money! Good day. Charge is fine for Diablo, just a question of how much you want to respect. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so you're impaling the, the final three, and for the minis, you're charge striking all those? Or are you impaling those as well? Just doing a full impale all around.
Impale always hits, plus it has a slow on it. He also impaled the minis. Interesting. Hello. Good day. You never did that step, just one with harmony cheese? Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, again, harmony cheese is also works. Charge Strike does always hit as well, so that's why it also would probably work. But this slow from Impale is nice. I'm due for a double H key drop. I honestly am. But I would accept it to be instead a double T key or D key drop. <laughs> I mean, we were overdue, chat. Don't look at me like that. We were overdue. It was time for the... Hey, don't look at me like that. Don't you give me that. Mm-mm. Don't you give me that attitude. Join my army of the dead. It's just that easy. Mm-mm. Alright, we'll do that, and that gives us... One, two, three, one, two... Oh wait, I need that row. It's only five. One, two, one, two. Oh wait, I don't. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, perfect. Um. No, I'm not doing this new game plus. I'm just trying to make some space. Uh, 11 hard points impale, the three dodge passives and max charge strike and lightning strike i thought i wasn't using charge strike what? now i am using charge strike is that just for clearing out the other stuff So now, let's take a look at what Anya has for us. Oh my god, with the stupid bows. Oh, Neelithok's home away from home. Oh no, I'm on player's eight. Crap. <laughs> Oh god. Extra fast fanaticism. Go, go, Javazan. 
Okay, this is silly. What is happening in here? Why am I stuck there? I should have just save quit. I knew it. Should have just save quit. Yeah, it was time to pull the plug. I just was hoping. Serves you right for cheating the keys. I didn't cheat no keys. Get out of here. Um, let's see. Is it over here? Yeah. Well, first I'm just going after this waypoint. And then we'll give a look at how easy or hard it is to kill. Oh boy. Why is it so nasty here, man? What the heck is going on? Good afternoon. We can also respec whenever we want now into Javs. I need mana. Which maybe isn't a bad idea, go into lightning now. I guess I should do Countess first, because she's pretty easy, actually. Oh, no, 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 don't kill me. Jesus. Shaco is saving my life right now. No! No! Shoot. I mean, I would do lightning normally. I was just trying it around. Oh, man. Okay, so we should do. If we want to do any Mephisto, we should do some Mephisto. I honestly feel pretty fine. We don't really need to do Mephisto. It would just be like, you know, kind of a fun, silly thing to do. But we have such a good map. Look at that. How am I supposed to say no? We'll go players three. Jab easy if geared. It's not terrible if you're super geared. And it takes longer than I want on P3. I 
can't carry any more. Okay, so I guess now we can reset maps. Second. And then we'll be back to the farm. Wait, is there a... A thing? Hmm. What is going on over there? Maybe that's it. Uh -huh. And this. Okay. Let's keep going. Sorry about that. Easy, Mephisto, Kira's, and Titans are missed. I know. It's okay. Sounds like a good solution, guns. Am I on a higher... Oh, I'm on players three, aren't I?
You want to be on P3 or P5 for the keys? Yeah, I think P3 will be best. I'm just trying to remember where I put my wallet. Um, where is it, chat? Do you think it's cheating on single player if you do bite him so you don't have to swap? No, I mean, I think a lot of people end up doing that just to avoid the hassle. I don't do it because I like the idea of, like, gearing up all the characters. So it's like, if I want Annie's for all my characters, I gotta go and, you know, get Annie for all the characters. But... But I think it's totally fine just doing that way. reset yet on season. Towel room. Alright, one second. Let me find my wallet. What is going on? Alright. Oh my god, finally. Oh, sorry. Had to order dinner for Moo Girl. Okay. Let's continue. Or do I want to reset? Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Reset and go for a better map.
How's Babby doing? She's good. She's taking a nap right now. So. That's why. That was a whole thing. Couldn't have lost it at Applebee's. I could have lost it at Applebee's. Thank you very much. I very well could have. Any rain or drops in temperature? It dropped the tiniest bit in temperature. No rain though. We had like the lightest sprinkle ever and it wasn't even over our house. It was, I was driving my parents to the airport. Ugh, white Shaco, why am I so unlucky? Never find two Shakos in a single Awful, man. Just awful. That's just the life of being unlucky right there. You know? I think I'm going to reset the map. This is too far. Alright, last run on this map. Trying to think if there's anything else I want to do on this map. I got my lower resist wand. Expecting some cool changes in the next season. I don't know. It really feels like they're gonna spend a lot of their time on. Like, a lot of their time has been spent focusing on D4. Even if it's not exactly this group's, like, job with it, I'm sure they pulled them over to help with certain things. So it's hard to say if, you know, will they allow that team to kind of go back and just do D2 and all that, or are they going to still keep them there? I don't know. The thing is, Blizzard put a lot of money into Diablo 4, into the marketing, into the creation, into all the pieces. And, you know, they were, they're planning to make that game the game for the next X years, right? Like the Diablo game for the next however many years. But they kind of have to accept that it's, I don't know, maybe accept that it just kind of was a little a bit of a dud. You know, like it made its money. People bought it, they played through the campaign. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a new map. It might be time to let it go. And you can still, you know, do, you know, seasons and that sort of stuff with it. But, I mean, again, my biggest, like, concern piece with it is it, 
the base isn't good. It is good and it isn't good, right? It has like some good parts of the base. Yeah, it's got, you know, some interesting like combat can feel all right when it's not just like janky CC everything and stuff. Um, you know, it's it's got some fine pieces. Graphically, I think it looks to really good in some areas. It's, you know, fine in some spots. But it's it it has terrible itemization. That's a terrible level one. Oh, Lama RPG blows it out of the water for sure, but that's like obvious. Um, you know, itemization is bad. Crafting isn't great. The economy is a mess because they don't allow trading. There's not really a good base for the economy anyways with the stuff. Items are going for like what, billions of gold now. That's, you know, it's just... This map's a little better thus far. If this, if this one's close, then this is going to be pretty solid. Nice. Alright, good map. PoE wasn't a perfect gem on release for sure. I mean, you know, lots of games aren't perfect on release, but you, the, the base piece, again, is, is really important. And D4, I don't think, really has the base it needs unless they're willing to go in and, like, literally remove all the affixes that items have and recreate itemization on it. You know? Goodness. Like, that's, that is the biggest issue. It has plenty of other issues. You know? Oh, it doesn't do this well enough, or this is, you know, kind of boring, or the crafting needs this, or now I'm spending too much money to try and get this one at... Whatever. It has its issues, but the core is that Diablo overall is about farming loot. If farming loot is not rewarding and not fun and you don't care about the loot and you have garbage affixes on the loot, nothing else matters. Like that's just plain and simple. Nothing else will matter. Wait, am I at charges? Huh. Thought I repaired him. So, if that gets fixed, everything's good. I mean, not everything's good, but now you have a base, right? Now you have a base that you can work with because it's fun to go and get items. And so now, okay, yeah, running Nightmare Dungeons over and over is just kind of bland. This open world doesn't really work very well, blah, blah, blah. You can, you can work with those things. You can fix those things slowly and surely. Now, level scaling is also kind of an issue that that's probably the second big thing they would have to gut and adjust. But I think even that's easier to fix than itemization. And even still less important. Because if the items are not fun to chase in a game that's about itemization and finding cool loot, Nothing else matters. Tiki! Aye. That's it, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. This first level is so bad. If this first level was just good, this would be such a nice map. 
But this first level sucks. Then the next, all the next levels are totally fine. Level two is perfect. Level three is, eh, you know, about the length of a normal tower. What up, Crimson? Good to see you. Level four is really solid. Yeah. That's the good way to put it, Epi. Yep. And I fully agree, there's definitely way too much stuff that they pulled over from Diablo 3 into D4. And not even like the parts that, you know, people would be like, oh, this is the good part about Diablo 3 that I enjoy. It's just like random copy paste of certain pieces. It's confusing. It's good, Crimson. All right, we don't need to bash D4 anymore. Instead, we can talk about how beautiful Llama RPG is looking. Yesterday, we came up with an idea. I had been doing a little bit of play testing, and I realized one of the biggest issues I was having with the game was once I got a ton of spells, it was bad. Because sifting through a list of 20 spells every time I want to use a spell just honestly felt like too much. It was like too many actions. And I'm sure some people would like that. But for me, it was, it was just too many actions overall. So... We came up with the idea, I mean, it's not like we invented it, of having a spell book. So you can only bring eight spells into battle with you. And now you can go and shift your spells around. Obviously, you'll level up specific spells, so you're generally going to just have your eight. But you may have a couple that you'll, you'll pick here and there. And you can order them, so you can put them in the order you would like as well. So that way, you know, you're the ones you like the most at the top, the ones you use, whatever. All that good stuff. And I think that'll help a lot. And then also your passive spells will exist in your spell book. So you can decide, do you want more? Yay! Key of Terror! You can decide, do I want more utility with more variety, or do I want to just be more buffed overall? Nice six to life, not bad. 220 Necro. Honestly, we're probably pretty fine on this. Melee, eight buffs, thanks. Yeah, so I honestly kind of like the idea of somebody just running eight buffs as a passive. They just put, you know, plus strength, plus armor, plus defense, whatever. They have no spells that they actively use. And then in their spell action every turn, they just rest and regain their stamina. So then they never run out of stamina, really. Is there an option if I just want to buy Lama RPG and not play it? Why would you not want to play Lama RPG? I don't understand. You could probably buy it and gift it to somebody then. I'm 
<laughs> if Blizzard hired me to fix D4, what would I do? I mean, I already just kind of talked about it a little. I'd fix itemization first and then go from there. But, uh... Up rag. I don't think so. But I have a whole list of changes. If you go to my YouTube, I have a video called, like... I have two videos. What what Diablo 4 needs to change? And I've got a giant laundry list of things. And honestly, I have more things, but that's, you know... That's the main focus piece. Oh my god, a rare Shaco! White Shaco, rare Shaco... And Harlequin Crest. So close. So close. But, again, I, I don't want to take over Diablo 4. First off, the game and the design and all of that clearly is not how I would go about designing a game. So it's already, like, far from what I would be, you know, I'd be fighting against a lot of other developers and visions and things. So I much rather would rather, you know, would just work on Lama RPG because I also don't want to have to deal with needing to be live service and have all this monetization in the game and, you know, push whatever pieces and I don't want to have to deal with that stuff. In Lama RPG, I don't. Exclamation mark RPG Discord is a great place where you can learn more about the game. Announcements channel should have some stuff. That'll lead you to LamaRPG.com, stuff like that. Position comes with a million dollar salary. I love Diablo 4 and I cannot wait to fix it up. That's what I said. So that is the Lama RPG Discord. All information can be found there. And yay, second key. Oh, I have three perfect rubies. Nice. What you need? That'll work. It's a normal software game dev salary? I don't know. I pay Warren and Totino's, so... I'm just kidding, I pay him real money. imagine Blizzard is I don't know offering 120 140 for developers that would be my guess but I have no clue you'd have to look at like their site it's locked Lords of Himalaya <laughs> you think they offer more or less Less? Really? Dang.
Maybe 120 for a senior game dev? That's horrible. No senior dev would take 120. In California? Wow! <laughs> Blood fist and gore is right next to each other. I mean, Blood Fist are nice. Don't get me wrong. Yes. Look, not every game company is going to be as successful as Llama Gaming, Gaming Studios, but... 80 to 150k. Senior WoW quest designer. That's a quest designer, though. They're not actually developing it, right? Still, for Irvine, California, that would be, you'd be living paycheck to paycheck. Lime RPG doesn't pay that much, but you live wherever you want and we have like no requirements. You just do work when you're working. pay to play you're gonna buy the game yeah content designer Oh, hold on one second, chat. Never mind, move, move or else got it. What about like just developer? That is true. Llama, at Llama RPG, you can also get percentages. So, you know. When it makes $10 million, a foul rune, whoa. That's not the rune I needed. Llama Synergy Inc. Could have done that as well. Hello. Oh, oh, okay. oh, thank you, Moo Girl. That guy was about to. He looked like he was about to cry. He felt so bad. Why? Because she was. Crying. She was crying. She was like, I walked into the door the first time her did. She was crying and she was asleep. Then Darcy started. Uh, and he could see her asleep, and he saw her wake up and start crying. Oh. Like, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's okay. There's time for her to wake up anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Nice level up. Hey! 
three keys. Let's go, baby.